Hello and welcome to today's lesson on scale factor. Before we start, we need to know what scale factor is. So in similar shapes, it's defined as the ratio between corresponding sides. Now to put that a little bit more simply, in an enlargement, the scale factor is how many times bigger the sides of one shape are than they are of another. So let's have a look at an example to show that. So on the left, find the scale factor between the similar shapes. So I've been given the base of both shapes, which is good. I can see they're the same shape. They're both a trapezium. Um, and I'm given the base of both of them. This is good. I need corresponding sides, so the same side from each shape, to work out the scale factor. If I had the base of one and the top of another, I wouldn't be able to work out my scale factor. It needs to be the same side from each shape. So I know that the small one is six centimetres and the bigger shape is 18 centimetres. I want to know how many times bigger the lengths of the big shape are than of the small shape. So essentially, how many sixes are going to go into 18? So there's one sum that I can use for that. And I can take 18 and divide it by six. That is asking me how many sixes go into 18. Well, I can count up in sixes or I might already know the answer. And that gives me three. Now it's not three centimeters longer, it is three times bigger. All the lengths of the big shape are three times longer than they are of the small shape. So I can say that my scale factor is three. So every side of that big shape is three times longer than every side of that small shape. I'd like you to have a go at the question on the right using that same method. Remember you can pause if you need to before we go through it. Okay let's have a look at the answer to that question then. So two trapezia again and the lengths are 9 and 45 so I want to know how many times longer those sides are than they are of the small one. So if I want to put this in one sum I do my division. So I've got 45 I want to know how many nines go in so I'm going to do 45 divided by 9 and that's going to give me 5. Remember that tells me my scale factor which I can reduced down to SF is five. It means the lengths of the big shape are five times longer than the lengths of the small shape. So let's check our answers. And we'll move on to example two. So I've got two parallelograms on the left hand side and I'm given the corresponding side, so I'm given both of their right sides. If I was given two different sides, I wouldn't be able to work out the scale factor. I've got to have corresponding sides. So the length of the small shape is three centimetres and the length of the big shape is 15 centimetres. So for my second example, I want to know how many times bigger the big shape is than the small. So I want to know how many threes go into 15. Remember my sum that represents that is 15 divided by 3 and that gives me 5. It's not 5 centimetres longer, it's 5 times longer. So I can say that my scale factor is 5. All the lengths of the big parallelogram are 5 times longer than the corresponding lengths of the small parallelogram. I'd like you to have a go at the question on the right hand side. So you've got a different shape this time but doing the same thing, so finding the scale factor. Remember you can pause if you need here. Okay, let's have a look at the answers to this one then. So you've got two parallelograms and you know that the, you're given the corresponding side. So eight centimetres is the length of the small one and 32 centimetres is the length of the larger one. So I want to know how many times bigger it is. So my sum is going to be 32 divided by eight and that's going to give me four. That tells me that my scale factor is four. It doesn't have units on, it is just a scalar, so you just leave it as a number without units there. Let's check we got the answers to that correct. Okay, let's have a look at example three. Um, 
I'll make it full screen so we can have a proper read of that question. So the example on the left, PQR, so that's our triangle, PQR, is an enlargement of ABC. That means I know they're similar shapes, so I can use the corresponding sides. Work out the scale factor of the enlargement. Now this question's a little bit different. Um, it tells me something about their angles. It also gives me two lengths of the larger shape and one length of the smaller shape. Now, all I need is a pair of corresponding sides. So we should be able to see from our two triangles which side I've been given the dimensions for on both diagrams. Hopefully you'll be able to see it's the side on the left. So AC, the six centimetre side, and PR, the 15 centimetre side. So if I'm to do my sum, I'm doing exactly the same thing. I want to know how many times bigger the big shape is than the smaller shape. So I know that the length of my larger shape is 15 centimetres and the corresponding length of my smaller shape is six centimetres. So I'm going to do a division. Now this one isn't as nice because it's not going to give me a whole number. I know this 15 isn't in the six times table, but I can still do it as a division. I do 15 divided by six and that gives me 2.5. That's okay. I can have a scale factor. That's not an integer, a whole number. I can have decimal scale factors too. That's absolutely fine. So I can say for this question that my scale factor is 2.5 and actually that's all that that question is asking me to do so it looks a lot different to the first questions that we we're doing but actually that's all that question is asking me to do so using that can you have a look at the question on the right hand side and see if you can find the scale factor between those shapes remember pause if you need a bit more time okay let's have a look to the answer of the question on the right hand side. So this time you're actually given two sets of corresponding sides. So you actually know the length of both of the left hand side and you know the length of both of the bases of your shape. So you want to look for the scale factor between them. So you can choose either pair because you, you know both. So I'm going to use the left hand side. You might have chosen the base, that's absolutely fine, you'll get exactly the same answer. So I'm going to choose the left hand side of each shape. So I know that the length, the height, sorry, of the smaller rectangle is three centimetres and the height of the larger rectangle is 12 centimetres. So I want the scale factor. How many times longer is that side? Well, there's my division. I do 12 divided by three, and that gives me four. That tells me there's a scale factor of four. I can double check that by using the other pair of corresponding sides that I've got, and you might have done this one as well. If you've used the base, well, the length of the bigger base is 16 centimeters, and the length of the smaller base is four centimeters, so that would be your division there, and it gives us the same answer. 16 divided by four is four. So I would agree, along with this one, that my scale factor is four. The lengths of those sides are four times longer than the lengths of the shorter sides. Let's check our answers here. There we go. Okay, what I'd like you to do now is have a go at questions from this worksheet. Now this worksheet is split over two pages. So there's three questions on this page and another three questions on the following page. So pause here and have a go at these three questions and then you can have a go at the following page. This is the second part of the worksheet, so the last three questions are shown here. Pause whilst you do these and then you can have a look at your answers. Okay, and here are your answers. So the mark schemes are there for you. Um, check that you've got those right. If you haven't, check that you've got your division the right way around and also that you've used corresponding sides. So you remember, you need the same side from each shape. Okay, um, hopefully that was useful and that you've learned a little bit about scale factor. Um, it's a useful topic when it comes to other parts of the shape and space 
sort of broader topic um, so it'll be useful for you carrying on. Um, remember the only way to learn maths is to do it so make sure that you keep practicing questions like this um, and enjoy it too. Have a good day. Thank you.